Hey y'all, good morning. Okay, so we're gonna talk about shadow work for a little bit. Um, what is shadow work? Um, let me know in the comments if you wanna know the history and evolution of shadow work. If you're interested, um, then I'll make a video on it. But otherwise, I'm gonna jump into what shadow work is currently. So in order for me to talk about what shadow work for me is, um, I have to talk about how broken our systems are. We are taught through religion, through positive vibes, what I call positive, uh, to toxic positivity, um, that you can overcome feelings, uh, negative feelings. Fun fact, there is no such thing as negative feelings. Not at all. And I really don't care if psychologists have caught up with this theory yet. Most of them have. Um, the horrifying thing, but freeing thing about shadow work um, is that you don't overcome trauma. You don't overcome um, your past pains. There's no such thing as overcoming. There's no such thing as healing past your pain. Now that can sound terrifying. That can make people who have been through horrific trauma feel like, oh my God, I need the belief system that I can get over this. But for many of us, it brings a sigh of fucking relief. Let me explain. So many of us have tried to overcome our pain and trauma. And when we didn't, we were meant, we were made to feel like we failed somehow. Listen, bitch, you're not crazy. You can't overcome it. Some days it's going to knock the wind out of your ass. And you know why? Because it was fucking hard. Because you've been through something fucking hard. Shadow work is about validating how fucking hard that is right? Really sitting in those feelings and releasing any of the shame and guilt that society has attached to those feelings and told you you need to get the fuck over it. Believe it or not, that's when the real fucking healing starts. Because once you allow the feelings to actually flow and everybody's journey is different some people it's five months some people it's two years but when you get to a place where your feelings are actually flowing they don't control you anymore because you've accepted that they're a part of you forever. I think I'm going to make a part two. There needs to be a part two.